Hi, my name is Claudia Jobek. I'm an international economist. I've worked in this field for many years, including 25 years at the International Monetary Fund in Washington, DC, and I've traveled to many different countries advising government. And I'm offering this course because the subject is so important and it becomes increasingly more important as the world moves together more closely. So why should we care about international economics? Well, if you think about uh, a recent challenge, the uh, global pandemic, when restaurants, schools, um, entire industries had to close down overnight, the big challenge was how do we avoid how do we make sure that the economy does not come to a grinding halt? And international economists are equipped to deal with such challenges. We have in place a, um, what is called architecture, a set of rules, uh, institutions, practices, uh, history, and theories to develop policies on how to address such challenges but also to make sure that the entire world is involved and um, that we find solutions to these very large problems. And in the first of the three classes, we'll talk about that architecture. How did it come about? It goes back almost 100 years when John Maynard Keynes was uh, teaching about the lessons of the Great Depression. But it's been evolving and it continues to evolve. And then in the second and third of the, of the um, uh, course, we will um, look at how this architecture, how this uh, three set of rules work out in practice. And we will read some chapters from the IMF's World Economic Outlook on such topics as the economic consequences of the sanctions uh, in the context of the war in Ukraine. But we'll also look at some longer term um, challenges that the world community faces, such as aging, which is something that we observe in all of the advanced economies. So with that, I hope I've sparked your interest in you will join me in this in this course later on this semester. Bye bye.